araw sa ating lahat mga idol at ito po yung tutorial natin sa grade 7 2019 MMCM top elimination question 41 to 45 so question 41 assume A over B is equal to A minus X minus Y all over B minus Z if X plus Y equals 4 and Z equals 3 what is the value of A, B, A, A over B okay so sabi dito A over B is equal to a minus x minus y all over b minus z ang given is x plus y kaso walang x plus y dito given na rin yung z so dito is equal to 3 daw ganun. so what is the value of a over b so ito pwede pa siya maging ganito kasi binigay lang is x plus y walang x plus y so ilabas natin yung negative ang mangyari is x plus y okay then yung ano yung z given na na 3. Ito x plus y is 4 na yan siya. So ito na yan siya. A minus 4 all over b minus 3. Then ano sabi what is a over b? So ito equate na lang natin sa a over b. Okay. Then try cos multiply natin. a b minus 3a is equal to a b minus 4b ito makakancel na to then divide natin both sides uh, i divide muna natin ang b so magiging 3a over b is equal to negative 4 and divide by negative 3 yun na hakaw natin yung ab 4 over 3 so the correct answer is 4 over 3 ok question number 42 the question is, the advertised prices of goods in a cloth store include 12% value added tax. How much goes to tax for a shirt with a tag price of 392 pesos? So, itong 392 pesos, siya ay 112% na. Diba? Kasi dinagdagan na ng 12% na tax. So, i-divide na natin ito ng 1.12 para makuha yung yung mark price niya. Nung una yung wala pang dagdag. So move tayo to decimal. Dagdag tayo dalawang 0, 3, 3, 3, 6. Subtract natin. 5, 6, 0, 5, 5, 60, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, 350 pesos to yung original price niya. Yan tinatanong, how much goes to tax for a shirt? So, yung minus na natin sa 392. 350. So, 42. So, the correct answer is 42 pesos. Okay, question number 43. Two angles measuring x and y form a linear pair. Find x if y is equal to 4, 2x plus 30. Okay, pag sinabing linear pair, yung sum ng dalawang angle na yun is 180 degrees. Okay, ito yung hanap, pinapahanap is find x if y is equal to 2x plus 30. Okay, find x daw if y is equal to 2x plus 30. So, dito, masasabi natin na y is equal to 180 degrees minus x. So, ito na yung degrees yan yun. Okay, so... Ito, substitute lang natin ito dito. So, value ng y, mangyayari. 180 degrees minus x is equal to 2x plus 30 degrees. Yun, so, na lang natin. 3x equals 50 degrees. Then, x is equal to 50 degrees. So, the correct answer is 50 degrees. Okay, number 44. What is the measure of each exterior angle of a regular dodecagon? So, may formula tayo dito na yung number of sides is equal to 360 degrees divided by yung exterior angle. Yung i natin, yung exterior angle. Okay, so ang hinahanap naman dito is exterior angle. So, ipagpalit lang natin, yung exterior angle natin is 360 degrees over n. Then, anong sabi raw? What is the measure of each exterior angle of a regular dodecagon? Ang dodecagon is ilang sides? 12 sides. So, divide natin ang 360 degrees. 
So, exterior angle nito is 30 degrees. Yan lang. So, correct answer is 30 degrees. Okay, last question number 45. The measures of the angles of a triangle are in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4. What is the measure of the largest angle? Okay, kung ang ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 4. And alam natin na yung ang sum ng angle sa triangle is 180 degrees. Nagawin natin dito is pag plus lang natin to. Pag add 2 plus 3, 5 plus 4 is 9. Then divide natin. 180 divide 9, 20. Then, sabi raw is largest angle. So, ito times lang natin dito sa largest. Which, 20 times 4 equals 80. So, the correct answer is 80 degrees. Ano na siya kadali.